Aberdeer Rangers Primary School is situated close to the internally displaced persons camp near Nakuru in Kenya. The IDP camp is home to about 6,000 people, including all the students who have been enrolled at the school. All inhabitants are dependent on dirty water from the local town's infrastructure. The Clean Water Foundation Australia is raising money to supply the Aberdeer Rangers Primary School and Orphanage a well. To raise money for the well, CWF and Aberdeer volunteers devised an art project whereby all students create artworks based on their relationship with water. These artworks were to be taken back to Sydney and auctioned to raise money for this life-changing addition to their community. <laughs> We decided that the concept for the artworks should reflect what water means to each individual student. Our practice run of the project took place in the playground and drew much attention, probably because these students had never before had the opportunity to use paint and play with colour. The program began with a brainstorm defining what water is. Students then composed their own movement reflecting the fluid motion of water in different spaces, such as water in a pond, a stream or a tap. Students clearly enjoyed their opportunity for self-expression whilst they developed a deeper understanding of their relationship to this vital element. After exploring what water is, students then mind how they use water. The second brainstorm explored how water makes us feel. We discussed what we feel like when we don't have water and how it affects us. We also explored what it would feel like to be able to have water in abundance. The students concluded these simple dramatic activities by creating still images of how water makes them feel. Their open body shapes and positive facial expressions are a symbol to us all that water makes us feel not only good, but it makes us feel free. Once students had symbolized their emotional relationship through embodiment, they drew individual still images on paper. They shared very limited resources to colour their self-portraits and we were amazed at how easily each student adapted to new equipment such as paint, liquid crayons and brushes. To create the backgrounds, we dressed the students in art smocks made from plastic bags and they mixed green and blue food dye onto paper. Building on their previous movement activity, they drizzled white emulsion paint over the food dye to convey the motion of water. The result speaks for itself. The students took pride in their work and enjoyed learning through the arts. We hope you enjoy their products as much as they enjoyed the process. Thank 